We're back. We're back. On this horrible, <laughs> unsuccessful mission we be, we've been on. This has been so bad. So, a couple things I was thinking of. I remember I went in here um, in attempts to like sneak into the restricted area. It didn't work, but I don't remember why. <laughs> so I'm gonna go look in here again. And hopefully we'll be able to like do at least uh, something else here. But I think we're uh, pretty much done. Oh. That's why, because we don't have a lockpick. That's good enough to get in there. That's where we need to go, I think. Rad. All right, well, we're off. Okay. So we're gonna, um, I think we're done here. <laughs> I think we're done. Oh no, this sucks. There's so much shit we can't do. What is a salvager in the sky? Oh, we need to do this. Okay, that's right. Let's go do that. Maybe this will, like, net us what we need. Maybe. Let's go see. This is a little dingy, guys. Whatever, those lights are bad for your eyes. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can salvage. This is gonna be... This episode's gonna be the run where we salvage everything we did last episode. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I guess I could pick it. That's probably not a good idea, though. Hello. Open the door. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping. A legitimate business for legitimate consumers. Oh, sounds legit. You the one flying the unreliable? No. Um, uh, Captain Hawthorne. Sure you are. Whoa, got him. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Okay. Uh, see you later. Let's just close this door really quick. Just in case we have to do something rash. But no, this is the episode. No, we're gonna, everything's gonna be perfect this episode. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia uh... Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. What? <laughs> What's Sublight? Uh, proud owner of the Unreliable. There we go, never heard of you. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. Damn. It's nice to see the unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't kill him. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But... There's a catch. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? Um. Not interested. <laughs> Leave conversation. Uh, sure. Tell me about the job. I like money. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage. Especially now, we'd need it before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. Cool. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? Uh, why is there not a dumb option for that? Sure, understood, got it. You'll do fine. <laughs> Probably nothing to worry about. <laughs> Probably. Cool. Thanks. See you later. Better pay me well. All right. What are we doing now? Um. Oh, this is it. There's a faction quest.
Okay, we can do that. Are we going to... Oh, no, we're going to Monarch. No, that's the planet I don't want to do. <laughs> this is going to be stupid. Oh, no. Maybe. Maybe not. I keep saying that, but so far it hasn't been too bad. There's only been a couple times where we've had to, like, start over. Um, but I guess that's it, man. Here, let's sell some stuff to this guy really quick. Have you tried our dehydrated water tablets? Just add air. Oh, you add air Don't to it. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's choice. Oh, okay. Um, let's see what you got for sale. Have a look. Sell. Uh, ammo. All. Armor, nothing. Medical stuff. I mean, is it even worth selling this? They're worth, like, tiny bits. Yeah, we'll keep that. We might need those. Okay, so we don't need... Armor mods are fine. Uh, melee weapon mod's good. Melee weapon mod is good. Not good. Tight. Okay. That should be everything. Let's go. All right, we'll go to the ground breaker. We'll see if we can upgrade this weapon a little bit now that we have some mods and maybe work on our armor too. Because we have good armor finally and good. Oh, we can just see that right here. Hello. Um, Tinker. I guess we can't do it. Well, let's go to the uh, other one. This repaired our stuff. Maybe the one in the Groundbreaker is better? Maybe? I don't know. That seems weird. Or maybe I just need to read the actual instructions and it tells you how to insert mods. Probably that's it. But reading is boring! At least reading instructions in games. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? All right, Ada. We'll get it figured out. Modify. Ah. All right. So install mod. What do we got? What does this do? Mr. Ouch. Attack increases the damage dealt from a power attack. Damn. That's cool. Let's install it. Uh, if you install this modification to the slot, the kernel will be destroyed. Becoming an engineer. Oh, okay. Well, there's no... Is there uh, already a mod on it? Oh, there's a shock mod. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, what about our armor? Uh, mod. What do we got? What does this do? Laminated. Increases body armor and helmet armor ratings against N-ray damage. Current armoring mod. Okay, so we if we did this, it would remove the factory stock armor plating? So it would armor... Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Or would that make it better? Eh, what else do we got? What does this do? Tech skills? No. Throw that out. Um, range of which interactable objects are highlighted. Increases noise made while moving. Hearing capacity plus 20. None of that I care about. Well, I guess we're fine. Leave it alone. We're off to Monarch. The worst place ever. Welcome back, Captain. Hi, Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Uh... Put him on screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. <laughs> You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. 
If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Um... Just tell me what to do. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Got it. Best Later. of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Uh. All right, we're done. Yeah. To Monarch. Uh, we want to go to Solar Bay. No, not Monarch. Orbit of a Stellar Bay, Captain. Can't wait. Stay safe out there. We will bring no one because we're idiots. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. So this looks really cool, though. Yeah, this game looks good. I got an achievement. I reached Solar Bay. Hooray! How do I get down here? Where's the button? Hello? Oh, there it is. No. Maybe this here. Nope. What? Oh, here it is. No, oh, what? Hold on. <laughs> Where's the other button? Oh, right here. Jesus. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't Hi. think I've seen you around. That means you must be. Do not see my giant Far ship here, flying. Right? Um. Well, that is my ship on the landing pad right next to you. There we go. Perfect. I knew it. See, I made what you'd call a logical deduction. You must have seen those UDL <laughs> gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Uh, I'm Alex Hawthorne. Well, there's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. Nice. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. I have a look around town. See ya. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang up job of welcoming you. You got it, bud. Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. Maybe. Um, what is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? <laughs> sure, I can ask about your poster. Thanks see you so later. Much. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. All right, perfect. We did it. Yacht Club? Man, I want what a yacht. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. Um, let's go do that Grim one first, right? Where is it? The Grim tomorrow. We're right. here. Where? Light Over here. Let's go talk to her. Um, excuse me. Thanks Could for letting I me in. Get another advance, Mr. Nandi. Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Hi. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries. Producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna and halcyon. What can I do for you today? Mm, Grim asked me to check you out this tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. 
She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Got it. See you later. <laughs> Oh man, it's like I feel like I'm playing like a quarter of this game. There's so much more that is like you can do. But you gotta roleplay the part, right? This guy wouldn't give a shit. He'd be like, no, whatever. They got it, I just wanna make money. Hello. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, alright? Whoa. She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Oh, I got something that'll make you real happy. Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your yap like that. <laughs> you just to start shit here. Oh my god, here we go, perfect. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. Hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Hmm. <laughs> you should probably see a doctor about that. <laughs> That's what Braxton is. He's our fish doctor. Fish doctor. He's gross. a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Um. He'll come back eventually. You can't constrain a person's freedom. I can't keep working double shifts either. <laughs> <laughs> Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Mm, I'm here to ask about Grim's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. Oh, about you're terrible. Um, who's now? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once, just once. Made a real generous offer too. Um, so it's all about the money. Yeah, right. It is. I'm gonna get it. Um, you still have the poster? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Got it. All right, let's talk about Fine something else. Me. Um, I'll talk to you later. We gotta get that poster. <laughs> we gotta get it. How do we get up there? Nope, definitely not that way. Mash random keys. Password and connect, try again. Return to root. Hmm. Now we need the poster. I know what we could do. We could try to convince Velma or whatever that we'll deliver it to her, but then we won't. We'll get that kid his poster. He's looking for so forward to it. We can't let him not have it. Where's this bedding parlor? Is this it? No. Velma seem out of sorts to you. She's always cranky. Where's the bedding parlor? She said across the way. What does that mean? Over here? Maybe this is it. Yeah, toss my bedding. Hello. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. Uh, so who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. They're all pretty great. Aren't they just? <laughs> when I get to worrying about the marauders outside, the raptodons chewing at the walls, I just turn my transceiver up to drown it all out. Most of the time it's static on account of the frequency being clogged up, but sometimes it's toss ball. So, what can I do for you? Um. Velma tells me you have the Grim for a signed toss ball poster. Signed by the black hole himself. 
There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. Could I trade you for it? I don't know. This isn't just some poster. It's a genuine tossball artifact. The black hole doesn't even sign things anymore. He just puts a stamp on them. Of course, the only reason I asked Velma about it in the first place was because those sublight fellas lost my shipment of official tossball jerseys. I was gonna line the walls with them. They're the new ones now with authentic game time aroma. Oh no. My favorite fragments. Mine Fragrance. too. <laughs> I wish I could order it by the gallon. Gross. Anyway, I guess they tried to take a shortcut around Amber Heights and ran into some trouble. Can't blame them for trying. Those iconoclasts never shut up. But they lost a bunch of cargo, including Oh, that's my a jerseys. great game. If you could get those for me, Conal uh, Conoclast I or might whatever. let Grim have that poster. Um. If I get those for me, sure. Thanks. Don't put yourself in danger on my account, though. That poster will be a fine substitute. What can I do for you? Goodbye. All right, what do we got to do now? We can't go in there, so we got to go get the jerseys. Yeah, let's go get the jerseys. All right. Where are they? They're not in there. Ooh. Oh, we got to leave? All right, we're getting the jerseys. I need your help. I can pay. Sounds rough. I gotta get jerseys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta get t-shirts, lady. <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> All right, let's see what this goes. I didn't even. I don't even know what she said, to be honest. <laughs> we have to do something. What is it? Let's see. Velma received another toss of renewal. Alright, Velma keeps the poster locked up in her office. What? It should be near Amber Heights. Ah, lost it. Okay. Possibly. It should be near Amber Heights. Okay, that's like right over. Oh, there we go. For. Where'd it go? Oh, over that way. 413. Okay, we'll go that way. Uh, we're gonna get... This this planet, man, is... I remember my first playthrough, this was like the bane of my existence. You guys are terrible! Stop it! Stop! Yeah, that's what you get. No, you come back. Yeah, get wrecked. All that noise. These trees are wild. I like them. Oh, hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> get out of here. Who else is there? Huh? Huh? I see you. Oh, it's so brutal. Oh, I remember those, uh, the sniper rifles. I remember I used them so much in this place. I must have, I think I just rolled a really, like, bad character last time or something. I don't know. But we're gonna be here. This I remember there's a lot to do here, so we're gonna be here for a bit. Where are you? Hi. Whoa! My okay, guy, I thought I was gonna get wrecked. That guy hurt. The the getting health back thing is. Huge. Oh. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Hi. Hello. No. Hold on. We got this. Stay still. No, stay still. No. See, we made it quick. You're welcome. Oh, no, we didn't. Sorry. Just kidding. 
<laughs> uh, that way? Is there... No, I can't really go up there. Oh, hi. Shush. Quiet. Oh, no, stop that. Ooh, a plasma cutter. Is that any good? 133? No. Uh-oh. Hi. Gonna find you. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Worth. So reckless. All right, we're not going there yet. Hey, you stop it. Your time is limited. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. All right, man. Maybe this won't be that bad. <laughs> All right, so it's up there. Okay, let's go up there. I do think I made like a glass cannon or something. No, I didn't even make that. I just made a really bad character, I feel like. Hello, hi. Ow. Ow, I want that. Stop it. We did it. Give me that. What was that gun? Oh, what? Was it you that had it? No. Oh, damn it. I wanted that hammer. Oh, man. There's a whole bunch of money down here. Money. I guess ammo is pretty much money for us now. Uh, weapon parts. There they are. Nice. Ooh, troop armor. Uh, that's not better than what we have. Ooh, that's pretty good. But it's not better than what we have again. Damn it. Someday. Someday we'll get something good. What is this? Nothing? Alright, let's, uh, I guess let's fast travel back. Whoops. Uh, Stellar Bay. Oh, the Unreliable Stellar Bay, Stellar Bay Ruins South. So that's like right in front of the door, right? Let's see. Yeah. Cool. Should have just, well, we could have avoided a loading screen if we just warped inside. <laughs> All right. Um, Nell. Yeah, we want to go to Nell. No, someone's been killed. I gotta deliver these jerseys. <laughs> uh, no, we don't go to Nell. We go to. Uh, no, we do go to Nell. Yeah. No, it's on the other side of the stupid building. Damn it. Excuse me. Ex excuse me. E excuse me. <laughs> Here it is. All right. Hello. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. No, I got your jerseys. What can I do for you? I found your smelly jerseys. Really? Wait, let me just take a sniff. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Just let it waft right into your nostrils. That's the smell of pure, unfiltered sportsmanship, baby. Tell Velma that Grim can keep his poster. I've got all I need right here. 
That's all for now. All right. Now we'll go to you. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Um. Can we come to some original Grimm's poster? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Uh, Nell is no longer interested in the poster. Yeah. That's a surprise. Tossball being part of her business and all. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Nice. Something else on your mind? Nope. See ya. We did it. Yeah, we got skill and perk points. All right, um, let's work on our dodge. Yeah, after dodging, your next melee attack gains 50% damage. That sounds good. All right, what do we want for perks? So we got Hoarder. This one should be good. Reduces the weight of consumables. Bonus to dialogue skills when you have no companions in your party? That might be good, but I don't really want to use that. I want to use this one, though. That's for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Let's go. So now we go and talk to this guy, and we'll turn it in. Bounced. I jumped off that guy and then bounced off of him. <laughs> Hello. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Give him the poster. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. Nice. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Wait, we got an, a weapon? Is that a weapon? Oh. But it's... Oh, it's a one-handed weapon. Eh, don't need that. Still cool, though. Okay. What are we doing now? I wonder... Let's go talk to that one, like, toss ball lady and actually ask her about the uh, transmissions. I'm wondering if that might be a quest. That might be worth doing. I don't want to start the main quest just yet. Hello, hi. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Uh, you said you're having trouble receiving the toss ball game transmissions. Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the toss ball games get to us in fragments. Makes them real hard to watch. That sounds dumb. That doesn't teach me anything, though. Who's Graham? Okay. Alright, so I guess we're doing the main quest now. Unless there's this. Oh, that's in Fallbrook. No. Where is this one? Passcode. What is this? We even like... Oh, there's nothing back there. Must be outside, maybe. Alright, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's quests over here. There's, like, the dead body that we ran by. And there was, like, the lady that needed help. But maybe they're gone now because we ignored them. <laughs> oh, 
Look at that hat. I want the hat. Chef Raymond. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we fucked up. The barber. What is this? Are these not even real windows? <laughs> They're not even real windows. That's so funny. I didn't know that. I guess it makes sense. You can't see them from the inside. But that's hilarious. They're just fake windows. Uh, What's in here? Okay, here's the main quest, dude. Where's that dead body, man? I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh -huh. Okay, here's one of them. Here's a lady. Talk to her. Hello. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please. You have to help me get my little trucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Well, then he's probably dead. Um, uh, Calm down. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodon, mantisaurs, and marauders with toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Mm. <laughs> Did you say there's rewards? Whatever. I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Right in their mouths. Got it. All right. Let's see if we can find that dead body. I was busy. I had to deliver toss bell jerseys. Oh, well, that guy's not dead, but he looks like he could be. Oh, we found it. Search apartment for clues. Why would they just let, like, anyone come in and be like, like, they wouldn't close it off or anything like that. They're like, whatever, yeah. We'll just wait for someone to come by and solve this for us. Uh, this base slip is some increasingly bold wagers made from a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from left field toss ball betting. Okay. Neato. Anything else we can find? All right, let's do that one. Stainless steel wrapped. Um, found a betting slip. Okay. Is there? Is that it? No, there's got to be more. This we can take that. We might as well take everything while we're here, right? Perfect. Is that the only thing? No, come on. Yeah, okay. Oh, here we go, here we go. Several ragged outfits, all the same cut and color with stuff in the suitcase. Okay. Left field toss ball bedding. That's where we just were. All right, let's go talk to this lady. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Uh, I found this bedding slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might happen to him? Poor Isaac. 
I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have <laughs> terrible teeth. Uh, what does teeth have to do with anything? They were pretty distinct. Monarch doesn't exactly have a thriving dental industry, and Isaac seemed to get stuck in all sorts of bad habits, dietary and otherwise. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader, other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. Um, uh, oh no. I don't think there's a right person to owe money to. I, I guess so. Ain't that the truth? But Elijah and his buddies are mean, and they've been pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. Mm, unacceptable. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. I'll make them pay! No. Someone's gotta. Let's go make them pay. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. I can do all sorts of things. <laughs> like blatant murder. All right. Let's go see what these dummies are up to. Hey. Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Hey. Thought about doing something doing rash, here? but it's probably not a good this idea. Is this will probably be funnier alley. anyways. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Oh. I know you murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Fine, I'll just forget this ever happened. Attack! Wrong answer! Wow, ouch. Ouch. Ouch, things hurt. Ouch. Oh, did we just two for one of them? Damn. Hey, come here. I got a present for you. Come here. Look at me. <laughs> that was totally worth it. Got him. All right. He went flying. Oh, we got a chef hat. Sick. I probably actually won't wear it. <laughs> I want to. I think I'd be more entwined to wear it if it was third person. All right, let's go see what this guy says. Hello. Well, new business turns up at last. That's right. Celia, You're going to love the story I'm about to tell you. I tell you our new statistics based advertising model would be a hit. That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? I hate him. You've often posed these very questions. Oh. Clear my schedule. Oh. Oh. This new no. car has a meeting with me. Uh. <laughs> I guess I'll wait till you're done with your meeting then. And a sense of humor too. Did you hear that, Celia? I heard it, sir. But I'm sure you didn't come here to trade witticisms, hmm? No, you're here for business. Business time. Um, Aren't we supposed to, like, talk to him? About the people we killed? Whatever, I'm just looking for the information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. That's right. Uh, wow! I don't want to do that one. 
Weird science project passed off as food in this sprat fucked colony. <laughs> I'm going to stab someone. Jesus. Um, afraid not. Oh, shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Iceberg age. I had hoped that live like the lettuce advertisements with enticing <laughs> figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Um. <laughs> uh, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? To So-called hazard clause. Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. now. We've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Uh, sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a... Uh rather pretty slogan but if you sit down and tally up the costs how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy it starts to lose its shine uh, that's a coward's answer <laughs> Jesus. so what do you mean to do about it well mr nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get msi restored to the board on our terms, mind you. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Mm. How long did it take you to figure out that you need to defend your city? Holy shit. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. Um, if you can get us what we cool. need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Mm, where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. I'll see what I can find. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Got it. Keep it on myself and sell it for money. Uh, before I go, I need to ask what you about something. For you? Uh, Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? Um, I've taken care of it. The killers are dead. But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If nope. there's one thing <laughs> I've been hoping to reestablish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Um, well... Here we go. Maybe I could have gotten their statements if they hadn't been ready to kill me. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Um, cool. Later! We did it! Alright, see? This was successful. It was a whole day of success. We didn't do anything wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, that's enough for this one. I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.